Alright folks, we're back for Monster Marine. Today we have a 2007 Monterey 270 Sport Cruiser. Beautiful boat. One owner Lake Norman boat. Kept on a boat lift with this great enclosure. So it has no sun damage. It has a full cockpit cover. It also has the back bimini not shown here, but it does have it. As well as it has an glass that has never been put up since it was new. As I repeat, Isinglass that has never been put up. Brand new. From the factory, but never used. Interior is in great shape. No rips, tears, cuts, anything like that. There is one stain over here, which we're going to do our best to get out. The boat has a great layout. Nice, nice swim platform. You have a shower right here. Wash your feet off before you get inside and make the boat all dirty. You have fender storage in here. A stainless steel three-rung folding ladder. You have a good, good seating area. Good amount of storage on this boat. As I said, the interior is in great shape. Nice, comfortable. This table is removable. You have a wet bar area. Sink. You have a little ice cooler. Throw some ice in there and use it for some drinks. Now, we're going to get Dan to walk on the boat with us. In the arch, you have two lights. You also have a TV antenna above there and a spotlight, which is nice if you boat at night. Make your way into the dock and you can't see anything. Now, at the helm of this boat, you have your factory steering wheel, which is tilt, if we can make it tilt. You have wood grain, compass, you have a fuel gauge, voltmeter, oil pressure, water temperature, your power trim and tilt gauge, digital depth finder, you also have your miles per hour, or your that's your RPM gauge, sorry, your RPM gauge and your miles per hour. We'll turn this on real quick and you'll see everything works on the boat. The boat only has 192.4 hours. Now right here you have all your factory switches for your anchor light, your panel lights, your cockpit lights, your engine room lights, your uh, bilge pump, your wiper, your horn. Um, you have your Kenwood radio controller, spotlight controller. You also have your Volvo Penta shifter, which we'll get to your engine in a minute. This boat is yacht certified. Now at the helm seat you have a nice flip up bolster. It's a really nice clean boat. Everything works on it. Now the difference between this boat and most 27, well, most boats in this size range, I'll say, it has a Jensen, which for you guys that are getting new to this and you're looking to buy a cruiser, what that means is the generator allows you to take the boat out and you go hang out for the weekend and you can turn the Jensen on and you can run everything. You can run your air conditioner, your refrigerator, keeps your batteries charged, use all your 110 volt outlets. Otherwise, at the dock, it has shore power, so you can run all that stuff. You don't need to run the gen set. Now, we're going to hop in the cabin, and we're going to show you inside the cabin, which is uh, really nice as well. Now, it has a nice walkthrough, and we'll get back when we come up. We'll show you the uh, bow of the boat. We're going to hop inside here. And as you can see, you have a kitchenette. Single burner stove. Sorry if the lighting's a little dim in here, but we have cabin lights. It's actually brighter than it appears. I don't know how to show up on video, but you have a microwave, stove top, refrigerator, sink with hot and cold water. You have a DVD player. You have a Toshiba, or actually LG television right here, which we'll show you in a second. You have storage in here for all your goodies. You have a mid-berth cabin. You also have this forward cabin, which it does have the other filler cushion which makes this a full bed, so if you want to lie, lie down and relax, you can. Now on this wall right here, we'll get Dan to slide in here. I'm going to do a little bit of talking, and I'll let Dan show you the camera action with what's going on what I'm talking about. You have your panels, which allows you to switch over your shore power, as well as your radio, which allows, and then allows you to turn on your all your accessories, your TV, your refrigerator, your volt, your volts, your air conditioner, which your air conditioner controllers on this side, as well as your carbon dioxide detector, so then you don't blow up or die while you're sleeping. The porthole windows do have screen, which do have screens, which are nice if you're, you know, with the way the weather's been lately here, you can open that up, and stay nice and cool. Um, you have a full head that also doubles as a shower which makes it really nice and really convenient. What this means is this boat can not only be used for a hangout boat or a nice boat to have fun with, it can also be used as a, as a night sleeper. 
you can go out with the wife and the kids and have a good time. There's a light in here, which uh, you can probably try to find the light switch. The one that says lights on, that, that's the switch, folks. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, <laughs> that's the switch, folks. Now, as I said, this boat is a one-owner Lake Norman boat. Always been, always been well serviced and maintained. Now, we're gonna hop back out. There's a mid-berth under there, which is... Now, if we're gonna spin around, I'm gonna switch spots with Dan. This is gonna look a little funny. We're gonna switch spots. Now I'm gonna close this door real quick. Now I'm gonna hop up here. As you can see, nice easy bow access. It has nice stainless crab rails everywhere. Now what I'm gonna show you, there's a sun pad here. So let's say you're out with your wife, your daughter, whatever. Somebody wants to get a little bit of sun action. You're more than welcome. Right up here, two people fit perfect. It's really nice, really easy, really simple. The boat's in great shape, as I said. It has no oxidation or fading. Unlike most boats we get in inventory, this boat didn't even need to be buffed, but that's because the gentleman that the gentleman that owned it put up nice side curtains on his lift. Now, I'm going to hop down, we're going to open the engine hatch. We're going to show you this Volvo Penta engine and this Kohler Gents. Now it has a Volvo Penta 5.7 GXI with a dual prop out drive, as well as a Kohler uh, 5E genset. <laughs> now as I said before, this boat has 192 hours. I'm not 100% sure on the generator hours as I have not checked it, but it does run and I will check it and they will be in the listing. The boat does run out perfect, it doesn't miss a beat, everything works on it. As I said, it does have this back bimini and the full camper enclosure, which is nice. Um, Interior is in great shape, as I said before, no oxidation or fading. If you have any questions, you need any transport, any export, this is a freshwater Lake Norman boat, by the way. We can help you with that. Feel free to give us a call. The phone number will be in the listing. We'd be more than happy to help you. Good luck bidding. Good luck buying.